I suppose my history will be different to most people. I got my first dog uh, about 10 years ago. I ju I just, I've always loved dogs um, since I was a young kid. And mum brought me into the dog track in Mullingar for my 11th birthday. And just since then, I was just like, I, I want one of them. <laughs> Some people think like, oh, you need like your parents to be in it. My first dog, he was out in like a shed in the farm. And then like I, I built kennels, I built the gallop, the, all the fence, and like I, like I did start from scratch. Well, the training side is very tough. There's a lot of work involved. It's 24-7, 365 days of the year. There's no days off. So first thing in the mornings, I bring in everyone that was out for the night, they're the pups, and then I let out everyone else apart from the race dogs and everyone else goes for a run around and then the race dogs go for a walk. They go walking around all the fields. We have a farm here so they can go wherever they want. I usually walk for maybe about uh, 25 minutes, half an hour and they go, in, they go back into their shed and then I take them out one by one. I'd weigh them, then give them a quick groom. If they needed to do their nails or brush their teeth or anything like that, I do that and then they'd have their breakfast they go back to bed then. I would go around the fields then with the pups. They, they can go wherever they want, just let them burn off as much energy as they want. Then when that's done, I, I'd gallop whoever needs to be galloped for that day. I just let them out, run around as much as they can and just to give them as much exercise and freedom as possible. Like you have to love greyhounds to be in this industry. Like you couldn't possibly, the amount of work involved, you couldn't both love the dogs. Like and sacrifices, like, uh, like other people my age would be going off on holidays and I'm buying fencing material like it. <laughs> You leave between half four and five and you'd be aiming to be up there before half six crazy going down the canal so you have to give yourself plenty of time because you can't be late there's no such thing as being late for weigh-in so we're up the races on a saturday night here and one of deirdre's dogs fell ill to injury so it's just i always was like geez i wonder what happened to that dog and then we we're in nottingham for the derby this year and then we met Deirdre and she gave us the full story and the dog, full recovery, and now he's a pet. And it was a very similar injury to what I had that uh, unfortunately stopped my career in professional sport. So that's the connection I have with her and I just felt, yeah, that's the lady to train my dog. Brilliant, she won. <laughs> Delighted with that now. I couldn't really see what was happening down there at the third bend, but she burst out and finished the heads, so delight with that now. There will be a course nights where you you come last and you have to drive home and get up the next day and go again, but then you go out to the shed and the dogs just put you in good humour. You just go on and then you get ready for the, the next week again. 